Welcome everyone to this tutorial about OpenGL ES and that would be the embedded edition of um, the OpenGL namely here for the embedded Android devices. Uh, in this tutorial I will be using the Android Studio as an IDE. I will write the code using the Java programming language. Maybe in the future I will be adding uh, some tutorial using the Kotlin programming language. Uh, the OpenGL standard used in this tutorial is 3.2 most of the code will be also compatible with uh, older versions of OpenGL um, like 2.0, however, not with OpenGL 1.0. If you followed up this tutorial, hopefully you will be having a small library which you can uh, use in your Android application to do simple 3D animation or illustrations. This tutorial will not enable you to have a complete um, 3D engine which you can use to do 3D games. I will assume for this tutorial that you have some knowledge about the Java programming language, some basic knowledge about classes and uh, yeah, basic structures of the Java programming language. Also, um, I will assume that you uh, already done some development in using Android activities and using this XML layouts. Um, yeah. So let's jump down to the first um, tutorial, which is setting up uh, an OpenGL activity. So in this tutorial, uh, we will make a new um, a new application in, in the Android Studio. We will uh, require in the manifest using the GL version 3.2, which as we said, we will be using in this tutorial. Then we will add to our activity um, GL service view. Um, this, this is a view which will be used to draw all the 3D objects in our scene. We will access this view in the Java code using model binding. You will see more about it in the, in the code. Then we will add a renderer for this service view. Um, the renderer basically takes the task of drawing on top of this surface. And we will show here how to can clean the screen. So basically, at the end of this tutorial, we will have a screen with one color. So let's start coding. So I just started um, Android Studio, and here I clicked on New Project. I will choose an empty view activity. The activity I will call Learn. The package name me.learn. We choose a location for that. I will be using the programming language Java, as said. And here the minimum SDK is taken to be nine. That's okay, I will keep it like this. And uh, the build configuration language is Groovy DSL. So that seems okay, I will click finish. Okay, so now the project is created. Let's um, run it. So we will do that using an emulator. You can go here to the device manager where it lists the emulator which you already created on this device, on this computer. Um, <clears throat> to create a new emulator, you can simply add here, add new device, create virtual device, and then you can select phone, Pixel Pro 8 or um, yeah, or seven or whatever you want the device is. And then you go to the next, and then you select the API level which you want. If the API is not downloaded, you can click here to download it and, and um, then you can use it. I will skip this step. I assume you already know it since you already did some uh, development in uh, Android uh, activities. I will just use one of these devices which I already have, so here, for example, uh, yeah, I have the Pixel 8 Pro with ABI 35. So let me run this device. Now the device is running. So we can click on Run here. And the Studio will compile the application and load it. You can see here it shows Hello World. So um, Let's see the layout. So the layout you can see, I already have a text view here, which contains the text hello world as shown in the emulator here. The next step now is to define the manifest that 
we want to use open gl so we uh, will use uses feature and um let's see under gles version and this version is written in hexadecimal so i will i will uh, write it first so we have three and then two so basically these are two bytes here for the um, lower part of the version and the upper here two bytes is the upper part so now we have th uh, 3.2 yeah. and let's put it to required equal to true and that's it here save and now let's remove this um, text view and we want to add actually uh, an OpenGL service view yeah and um, let's put it to fill parent also here or match parent if you like match parent let's close it um, and let's set the ID let's call it just surface view yeah that's it basically here we're done now we want to access this ID here from the Java code and for that as I said I mean we can keep the code as it is here where we uh, set the content view and then we can uh, use something like find a view by ID and then we use its ID but however I don't uh, like this I usually want like to use the uh, view binding so for that we want to go to the read the scripts so to the application and then here after compile options we can add build features I think it's called build features and then in the build features we can set view bindings to true and save of course we want to sync now now let me close the application here now it's synced so now uh, let's let's use this binding I will go to the main activity and uh, there is now a, a binding defined for this activity usually the binding uh, class name starts with activity then the name of the activity so main here and then end with binding yeah Yeah, and we can delete all the set content here. We set this in binding to activity main binding dot inflate. Yeah, for that we need the uh, get layout inflator and um, that's it so now set content view we just get the m binding root and that's it now we have our um, xml layout shown on this activity so we can run just to make sure that we did not make any uh, bugs and it worked now we don't have this hello world label unfortunately yeah. so the next step in uh, this tutorial is actually to add a render and um, for that actually I want to make that the main activity to implement the um, GL surface view render and we can click here we can implement the methods we we need these three methods so on surface created on surface changed and on draw frame yeah these are the three important calls that we need for this renderer so now we can 
come here and say, say okay for the surface view yeah um, um, as i said now we can use the binding to get the surface view look at it i mean now here if we have this binding dot then we will get the surface view just click on that and then set render and this would be the this so so because our activity has implemented these three methods Yeah, and then now, so on surface created, we do the initialization. For here, we only uh, want to do actually, um, we, we only want to, to put the GL clear color. Um, let's put it to, I don't know, just red for example. Yeah. So red to one, green to zero and blue to zero and alpha to one mm, that's it um i will add code later to, to on surface changed let's keep it now empty now on draw frame we want to do the clearing and i just have the code copied so um it will be just uh, gl clear and the buffers we want to clear and here are two buffers yeah the color buffer and the depth buffer and that's it now if we run so we can see our red color since we choose here for the clear color red and that's it for the first tutorial so now we have an activity which have an gl view and it do the clearing and that's it thanks for watching